What's good? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to write an industry approved press release for your music, which will not only get you more exposure, but it will also help you get in front of new fans. Plus, towards the end of this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get my press release template for free so you can use it to start submitting great press releases of your own. Plus, you'll learn how to prepare for one, how to modify the template, and how to send it off. All right, so if you've been here before, you already know. I'm so saying, Lord. And if not, welcome. Let's get to it. I'm about to show you exactly how to write an industry approved press release. But before we do that, I got to show you the things you need to have nearby to prepare to write a good industry approved press release before you actually get into that process. Let's talk about preparation. What do they say? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Yeah, I would say that's true. That applies to this too. All right, so to prepare to send your press release off, there are some essential things that you need to have in place. The first thing that you'll need is some type of writing software like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. I personally prefer to use Google Docs because it's easy to access and it's also easy to access your files once you get done creating things on their platform. It's just easy to access it, link to it, or download your files after the fact. Okay, so the second thing that you'll need is an assets folder. And I'm gonna show you here on the screen exactly what you should have. You may not need to have as many files as I have in my folder, but you get the gist of it. I have more than enough. You can prepare in the same way. I just have different files available to me for when I need them for different things. I put everything in one folder so that I'll be able to access that same folder for whatever I might need it for. This folder should generally contain the things that blog sites expect or things that they may ask for. And what would be in that folder are things like professional photos of yourself that are related to the music video or the news that you're creating this press release about. Also, the file of your song or your video, they may ask you to upload it. So you wanna have that easily accessible and available for whenever you need it. You can also just throw this up on a Google Drive so that you'll be able to link to it or download it from there, from wherever you might be if you don't have access to your computer or uh, say you're on a different device at some point when you might need it. And last but not least, you need your press release. And you can save it to your folder once you finish writing it or once you finish modifying the template that I'm going to give you. You just need to have access to it, but I would highly recommend having it on a Google Drive so it can be a copy that you can access at any time for sure. And I recommend downloading it for when you have to attach it to emails or you may have to upload it to whatever platform may ask you to do that. Okay, so now that you got all of what you need to prepare to put together a press release. Now let's talk about execution. Now, obviously when it comes to preparation, you'll probably only have a press release available at your fingertips if you get the template that I'm gonna give you access to. Other than that, let's talk about executing the process of creating your own or modifying the template. I'm going to walk you through that on the screen. Okay, so what you see on my screen is actually a press release that I created and actually submitted to several different blog sites and publications. I'll give you just a little brief overview and let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger on the screen just so you can see everything better in the video. All right, that's a nice size right there. Okay, so let's get into the how-to. Looking at what's on the screen, I wanna tell you where to start. First and foremost, you need to come up with a headline that gets to the main point of your press release. What is your release gonna be about? Are you releasing new music or have you released new music? Do you have an event coming up? Do you have a tour coming up? It should be anything that's actually newsworthy or anything that you feel should be newsworthy. So my headline that I came up with is actually what I've named the file of the press release. As you can see here at the top, I just labeled it press release so that it'll be easy to identify when it comes to like looking through files and things like that. But also 
my headline is Tarsia Renee releases godly ambition. That's my headline. And within my press release, I'm actually discussing not only the fact that I released the song, but the music video as well. The next thing that you would like for your press release to include is when the publication or blog site is able to upload that or make it available to the public on their website. At the top of mine, as you can see, it says for immediate release, because once they have it in their hands, I should be submitting it in enough time for them to have it while I'm promoting my song. So that's what you want to do. You want to submit a press release before your song releases so that hopefully by the time they get it and post it, you are uh, not only building more momentum for your release for people to go check it out, but you're actually helping to carry the momentum because every site or every publication, they won't get it out at the same time. But those ones who could get it out on the same day that you release will make your overall release strategy that much bigger and you'll reach that much more fans on the same day that you release. Okay, so the next thing that you'll see after you come up with a headline is at the very top, you should have for immediate release because once you send this off, you want the publication to be notified once they open the press release, they need to know exactly when they're able to post it. So if you're submitting it a few days in advance before your release is actually out or before that event or video actually releases, what they know is, okay, this music is coming out on this day or this music was released on this day and I can post this while I have it in my hands. If it says a different date at the top, they'll know to post it on that date that you set at the very top, but most publications don't really follow a date to be posted in advance because they're receiving so many different submissions and so much different content that they're not going to go backwards if they don't have to, to find your content. So it's definitely best to submit it two or three days before the news is out or before the event happens. The third thing that you want to have included in your press release is actually the first high quality photo from your assets folder that you would like for people to see when they come to that blog post or that article on the publication's website when they come to actually read the press release. You want to make sure that that's attached right after the date that you set for when the publication can post it because people are visual. Everybody's not just coming to see a bunch of words nowadays. So you want to give some kind of high quality uh, photo and that can be your artwork, that can be single artwork, or that can be some type of photo that's related to the music or the video or the event that you have coming out or what you have released. It should be something that's related to your release, whatever you are submitting the press release for. Okay, so the next thing that you'll see here in the template is actually the headline that I came up with. It's a little more detailed than the file that you'll see up at the top because it has to be one, a little more interesting. And also I was doing a press release for the single and the music video at the same time. I wanted it all to be posted together because I wanted people to not only know that, hey, this single has released, but there's also a video that's been released to it on the same day at the same time. So I want you to watch the video or go stream the single. You gotta give people options nowadays. Okay, so right beneath the headline, which is right up under the photo, the high quality photo that you're gonna submit with the press release, you need to talk about the details of what you want people to know about. So here you can see that my press release was written from St. Louis, Missouri, and I have the release date for the event or the release that has happened. And I get into the details of what I want people to know about this release. Hey, I've released this single. This is why I'm excited about it. This is why they should be reading about it. This is why they need to listen to the song. This is like a little bit of the details behind the song. This is who shot the video. 
this is why the video is interesting why they should watch the video i gave not only the details of what the song is about not only the details of what the video includes but i also put a quote in there from myself you can do this if you are in a band or if you want people to know the story behind the song you can also quote the song if you want people to listen to it give people multiple reasons to go and listen to the song if they like the lyrics that you included in the press release that alone might make them want to go and stream the song or watch the video and if it's an event put a quote in there about why people should be excited about this event or why they should support it the next thing you want to include in your press release is actually where people can go consume this content or to learn more about what you've told them about in the press release so as you can see here i have watch godly ambition here which simply links out directly to the youtube video link that i provided also i have stream godly ambition here which actually links to a smart link um, and i highly would recommend creating a smart link for your music and for your videos which gives people one central place to listen to your music or to stream your music or to buy your music. I would highly, highly recommend doing that if you are releasing music. Or if you have, uh, let's say for instance, a news story that you want to put out there or just something that is less media type of content and just a story that informs people about something, you want to provide some type of link that people can visit for more information. After you give the details of your press release, what you want people to know about what you are informing them about, you wanna provide an additional photo because people continue to follow things with visual aids nowadays. And you also wanna give some type of insightful photo that's related to the press release that you are putting in front of them it also basically is something that reveals a little more information without putting it into words so people can learn from the photos it also helps to keep your brand intact when you provide something that's related to the press that you're putting out in front of people you give people a certain perception that they can continue to follow or expect from you and people expect a certain quality when you provide quality work inside of your press releases. And last but not least, at the end of every single press release that you create, I don't care if it's for music, videos, or it can be for a podcast, it can be just news. You have to include your socials and your contact information at the end. How can people follow up with what you're doing? How can people continue to reach out to you if they would like more details about what you have going on? Not only can this help build support around what you're doing, but this can also help people to stay connected to you, which actually grows your social media following as well. It might even grow your career financially as well. Okay, so last but not least, you need to figure out who you're gonna send this off to because it makes no sense to create a press release or modify the template if you're not gonna have anybody to send it to. So what I would suggest is going to Google and searching for your niche plus blogs or search for platforms that you may know of already that are related to your genre and you can also search for blog sites that may attract audiences that you would like to be put in front of now after that all you have to do is go to each website that you find and you can compile a list on a spreadsheet or something like that or you can go to the list of websites that you find one by one and look at exactly what their terms are as far as accepting press release submissions see who you need to send it to and how you need to send it to them some websites will allow you to directly upload it on the website and some websites will have an email address listed with the person's name and also even the headline format but you'll know exactly who to send it to where to send it to and it's as easy as sending a email and attaching the press release to it and whatever that platform is asking for then that way all you're doing is minimal work because i've already showed you how to modify the press release template so all you have to do is make small changes according to what these platforms are asking for on each website 
real quick before this video is over i need you to know what i'm doing with this channel going forward every single week i'm doing a cash giveaway of 25 bucks to the subscriber gang it's going to be called the subscriber fun so if you opt in at the link in the description then you'll be able to see exactly how to become a part of the subscribers fun obviously you got to be a part of the subscriber gang by subscribing to this channel but you'll get more information at the link below so if you want to be a part of that and be entered to win 25 bucks every single week it will be picked randomly so don't get mad at me if you don't win but you will have an opportunity to be randomly picked by software not by me not by a person and if you win you won't be able to just you know keep being the same person to win every single week but you could possibly win again all you need is enough entries and at the link in the description you'll see how to opt in to the subscriber game but first you definitely have to subscribe to the channel and then click the link in the description to see how you can get more entries into the subscribers fund listen if you need more training and more information or more tutorials or if you want to learn more simply about how to properly market your music how to run your career like a music business and have content created specifically catered to the questions that you may have when it comes to marketing your music or different music business things that you need to have in place like how to collect your royalties properly what equipment you can be using to create music at home yourself things that you would like to learn from industry professionals just head over to indieartistjourney.com and join the community that I created for artists like you. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss more videos of me helping you learn how to market your music and run your music career like a music business. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.